Hi folks, it's me again, another late night episode of what guitar am I going to show you now? Well, it's going to be a lovely rare vintage 1976 Ibanez L6S with a maple body, maple neck. I think it's a three piece maple neck. Oh my god, this thing is unreal. Um, I think it's a 2217 is the Ibanez model number that if you look online, but as you can see, it's got a beautiful, I think it's a two-piece maple top. Um, you can kind of see figuring or flame in the top side of it. Oh my god, is that gorgeous or what? 1976. Ibanez L success lawsuit Gibson copy 24 frets um, it's got the um, six position switch um, I think when it's at the top it's in parallel and I gotta look it up exactly and go through it I'll do another video the next couple days with me jamming through the fender or the Randall or whatever um, absolutely beautiful lawsuit headstock very close but um look at that neck it's kind of a thin neck but um i played real gibson l successes and um this thing is just as good as a gibson it's just phenomenal i got heavy strings on it so it's um Just a beautiful maple body on this. See, it's in, wow, it's in pretty much mint condition. There's a couple little, um, well, dings. You can't even see them by the input jack. But, oh, I mean, the headstock's pretty clean, as you can see. It's got the uh, tuners with the stars on the back, I think. It's kind of heavy too. <laughs> yeah, 1976 or 75. Oh my god. It's just an amazing guitar. Look at the back on it. It's just beautiful. And on the top, um, it's got the uh, harmonica style bridge. Um, I think the pickups are the, um, whatchamacallit. Can never remember. Got so many guitars, and trying to remember every detail about them is just like got having a, you know it all written down. That's why I'm doing videos. Um, pickup sound great. Just a killer guitar. It's got the maple neck. Pretty resonant, unplugged. And obviously, it's. Um, not got as thick a body as a um, Gibson Les Paul, but it's just every time I think of an L success on one of these guitars, I think of Kiss Paul Stanley because I know he used a black one for a while. I don't know if he used a blonde one or maple one, but uh, he might have actually maybe he did. But I'm a huge Kiss fan, got a few of the uh, Ace Freely Gibsons, I might do some videos of those. Stay tuned for those. Those will be killer. Those will probably be, uh, you know, Christmas videos now because they're such cool guitars. Um, but yeah, every time I play this, I just think a kiss, you know, like just a. I know a thing or two about her. Strutter. Yeah, I love all that old Kiss stuff. That's the first band I ever seen when I uh, was growing up. First ever concert I went to was Kiss with my brother. And well, 
guess that's why I turned out kind of weird. <laughs> but this is a beautiful guitar. I just do a little video of this because the other video I did was uh, on my other camera. Way too much gigabytes. But yeah, it's got the six position switch. Oh, this thing is just. I love weird guitars, and it's Japanese at the Matsumoko factory, or whatever you call it, Fujian. Say Ibanez made great guitars. I had a Ibanez Les Paul copy, man Les Paul copy. It was a man, but in Canada. I'm actually in the UK now. All these videos are coming to you live from, I was going to say London, England, close to London, England, but I moved over here quite a few years ago because music seems better and got bored of it over there. But anyways, um, yeah, I had a Man Les Paul Custom, which was made by Ibanez, but they were called Man in uh, Canada. Man Guitars, M-A-N-N. -N. Very hard to find them now, but um, it was a really nice guitar. I don't have it anymore. Um, but I do have a couple other Ibanez. And also, I've got another L-Success Japanese copy coming. Um, it should be here any day. Oh, I can't wait to get that bad boy, too. Um... Yeah, I can't remember what the, the, the make of that one is. It's uh, one of those Japanese um, makes. There were so many in the 70s and the 80s, and they're, they're great guitars. I've got, um, I've got a Marauder Japanese um, copy that is really cool. I think it was made by Avon, but all those companies were all made in the same factory. They just put a different tag on it or name on it, right? But, um, yeah, I mean, as I say, a guitar is a guitar doesn't matter how much it's worth. I mean, yeah, we all want to we all want to own a 59 Les Paul or a 58 or a 52 Gold Top or 54 or whatever, but you know, we can't afford it. And you know, like I say, I collect and play guitars that I like that just have an influence and this particular one just had that Kiss influence on me and um I remember I almost bought a Black L Success. Um I don't know if it was a Midnight Special or the, this one with the six-way, but I always wanted one, and I got, I bought this. Um, I'm not going to say for how much in case I ever sell it, which I probably won't. But I got such a good deal on it, I just couldn't pass it up. But um, frets are really nice on it. It's a really cool guitar. It's just, um, look at that. The, the the top on it was just amazing. I could go on and on and on about guitars because I'm just crazy about guitars. Always have been. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to bring you a few more videos of my collection. Hmm. <laughs> Take forever to do it. Um, so yeah, there it is. The um, Ibanez L6S. Yeah, that's it. That'll be it for now, and um, oops. Stay tuned for the uh, next L6S copy, which is Japanese. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on that baby. But I'll be plugging this one in tomorrow or the next day and do a little video. Okay. Anyways, take it easy, and we'll see you soon.